You know, it's hard to remember a time in American culture when persons with disabilities were not accommodated. It's been a legislative battle that's been hard fought. But the real heroes of widening the world of persons with disabilities have been the crafters, the engineers, and the innovators of American industry. We're here at Bruno Independent Living Aids in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Truly, the masters of mobility in widening the world of persons with disabilities. We've been around about 30 years and started with just a, a couple employees. My father started the business and he had had uh, a bit of experience in the, the mobility and accessibility field and really saw uh, that, that niche, that growing product back in the 80s of the electric scooter along with uh, the Chrysler minivan and kind of married those two products together and we came out with our first product that lifted a scooter and brought it into the side door of a minivan. And that, that really, that innovation and, and that forward looking really has led our company into coming out with innovative products that, that help people get around. And he was very passionate about our customers and about quality and, and about taking care of people. And, and that really uh, set forth our path to where we are today. Well, I think being a family business is really important. It's important not only to the consumer, because uh, for, in my case, uh, a family is, is more than just who owns the business, but it's, it's how you care about the business. Uh, my name's on the business, so that means a lot about the quality of the product that we put out there and how we take care of our customer. Uh, it's personal to me, and, and my, I have a daughter who has a walking disability, and, and that means that I'm not just a provider, but I'm also uh, a consumer of our products and understand how that can impact someone's life. But it should mean a lot. There's a lot of continuity here. We look at the long term. Uh, what is the best thing for not just our family, but our employees and our customers in the long term? And I think that being a family business really allows us the luxury of, of having that long term look. And this family approach to business makes Bruno unique. They extend the approach to manufacturing of their products into the people they employ. Mike Bruno explains. Well, here in, here in Oconomowoc, we have uh, over 200,000 square feet of facility. Of course, we have our offices where we're doing customer support and engineering, but we also have all of our manufacturing here. So we build parts from raw steel. We do uh, cutting and milling and welding and grinding and all those things. And then it goes over to our assembly plant where we put our products together. So we'll build our wiring harnesses, we'll assemble our product, and then it'll go through final testing before we package it up and ship it out to the customer. The products Bruno offers helps people live independent lives. Again, Mike Bruno. Well, we have a wide spectrum of products also. We have uh, products for automotive mobility. So there are lifts that help people transport their scooters or wheelchairs. We also have uh, automotive, what we call automotive accessibility. We have seats that, that come out and lower and, that allow people to transfer into that seat and then it'll lift them up and into the vehicle. And we also have home products. So our stair lifts, whether they're straight stair lifts or custom made curved stair lifts or our vertical platform lifts that help people get in and out of their homes. One of our uh, real innovative products is our valet signature seating uh, product. And that really allows customers uh, to get in and out of their car in that car seat. So for a taller vehicle like a pickup or an SUV or even a minivan, our seat at a push of a button will rotate uh, out of the vehicle and lower it down so they can easily get in and out of that seat or transfer into a chair or whatnot. And then you hit the button again and it lifts up and rotates in into the car. So it lifts them in, it carries them out, it makes getting in and out of the car very easy, and it allows you to, to choose the car you want. So you don't have to be in a minivan, you can choose a pickup truck, you can choose an SUV, and it's a really great product. Well, at Bruno here, our mission is to be a leading provider of solutions for an independent lifestyle. So we really talk about helping people live their lives independently. So whether we're helping people get in and out of their vehicle, or taking their mobility device with them in their vehicle, or helping them get in and out of their uh, home or up and down their staircase. We're trying to help them live independent lives, and we want to be a leader in that. We help people age in place. So as, as we get older, 
uh, sometimes we don't get around as, as well as we'd like to or, or as safely as we'd like to, and that's where our products can help people age in their home, that home that they've grown up in, that they've raised families in. They can stay there and enjoy that home the rest of their lives. A sterilift can aid in helping a person remain independent in their home. We wanted to learn more about how they're made, so Mike took us on a tour of the facility. Well, here we're building one of our, uh, our custom curb rail stair lifts. So all of our curb rail stair lifts are built specifically for the staircase that they're going on. So here he's uh, putting the pieces together. He's actually welding and grinding uh, the rail system. And so we'll take those pictures and measurements of the staircase out in the customer's home. They'll translate to our engineering department where we'll lay out their staircase and then put our rail system and design a rail system just for that staircase. Those drawings will come down here to the shop floor and we'll build that rail just for that customer. This is our assembly plant where we assemble all of our products. So we take our parts that we make over at our manufacturing area and we bring them over here and we assemble them with our motors and our controllers and we finish assemble and test our products before we ship them out to our dealers uh, ultimately for installation at our customers home or in their vehicle. Nancy Lundeen has lived in the same house with her husband for nearly 40 years. After knee surgery she found climbing the stairs to do laundry was very painful but she did find a solution. Nancy explains. First of all Dave had to do the laundry because I couldn't get downstairs and uh, then he would bring it up here for me to, to fold and by that time I had fuzz all over the place. That was not a happy time. So, but then as I recovered and I was able to go downstairs, um, we made it for several years and then it got painful to go up and down those stairs. So we said, okay, we've got to do something about this laundry. We do not want to move out of this house if we can possibly help it. So we checked, uh, do we have room to put the laundry upstairs? Well, maybe. So we checked into it, the plumbing that would have to be done in this old house would have cost phenomenal and we said, well, we certainly can't do that. So we talked to a friend who has a Bruno chair and um, he is very nearly totally disabled and needs that chair badly. And he said, do it, it's well worthwhile. So we went shopping and we chose Bruno it's, it's well made, and uh, my husband's a vet, so we like things that are made in America, so we said, okay, this is it, and it was affordable. <laughs> there are many goals for aging in place. One is to enhance the quality of life for elderly persons so they're comfortable in their environment. This helps the elderly participate in activities both in their homes and their communities. Another goal is to ensure that people who plan on staying in their home as they age make the necessary modifications now. This protects their ability to age in place. Being aware of what technology is available is helpful in achieving the goal of independence. A great resource is your local hospital's occupational therapist.